Hey guys, it's Sean, and welcome back to my playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. Let me just check and make sure I'm in the... Right area? Okay. Uh, so, in the last video, we went through the House of Healing, and we destroyed Malice Thorm. I've already forgotten his name. That's how inconsequential he was. We uh, also enjoyed uh, exploring the morgue. Um... Is that really all we did? Oh my god. Uh, we're going to examine the rest of Wraithwith? Wraith? What is this place called? This place. We're going to explore the rest of it. Uh, How much farther can I go? You're okay. How much farther can I go? All well, this stonework has me thinking. Would you ever want a statue of yourself, Will? It seems a rather vain notion to me but I can't say I haven't thought about it how about you I suppose it might be nice to be remembered oh. though I'd be less keen on having birds perching on my head forevermore think of the uh, mess they'd make well better your statues head than your own what are we talking about right now hey, yes yes well it would be better for there to be bird shit on a statue's head than on your real head. I'm glad we were able to... <laughs> to figure this out. Hello? Okay, I guess I'll hop down. That hurt. Does it? Uh, yeah, everybody get on here. Everybody get on this. Come on. Chop, chop. Will? Don't make me come after you. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll make you jump down and, and take damage and, and go prone. Exactly. Okay. Let's uh let's head out here, I guess. Um, oh, wait. No, we already... Okay, we killed these guys. We killed these guys. Where do we need to go? We need to go to, like, the town square, which is to our... Is it this way? No. Uh, we need to go south. Do we not? Which... Wait, isn't that this way? Aren't I going the correct way? No. Ah, whatever. Yeah, we'll just... A psionic detector. Githyanki are lurking nearby. Githyanki? Dude, you can go down there. What the hell? Oh my god, there's a... You mean like living Githyanki or... Dead Githyanki? What the? Oh my God! To kill you, I won't make the same mistake. What the hell? So wait, you're real? Avatar of Lacketh. Oh, so you guys are just like. Wait, what are you guys doing here? Devil's sight. Agonizing blast. Get Yankee war magic. How many of them are there? There's one, two, three. Four, five. They're level nine. I'm only level eight. So I'm actually, you know, this whole time I've been like semi apologetic because I've been like, I think I'm um, over leveled for this. I kind of think now we're a little bit more even. I would be worried if I. Hey, you know what? Let's, let's kill this guy. You're gonna enjoy this, are you, Carlac? Let, let's let's grab him. Can we grab him? Oh, it's like a bonus action. <laughs> okay. Sometimes the only way out is through. But yeah, I think uh, you know we're uh, we're trying our best. Ooh, I'm gonna use my tiger heart. Here we go. That's right. Now, what does this thing do? Tiger's bloodlust. Lash out to attack up to three enemies at once and make them bleed. Okay, so it's like cleave. I basically get an extra cleave. That's sick. <laughs> Don't get too cocky. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, now, Will. Um, let's get up here, shall we? Okay. Now, would you like to Eldritch Blast this guy? Wait, how much damage are we thinking about doing? Let's take a look. 4 to 13 damage. 
Let's just make sure he dies. Oh, 200 XP. <laughs> what are you guys going to do about it? Oh, you missed. Oh, you guys suck, dude. I mean, I got to be careful because remember I said that before. I remember that she, she got rid of my, uh, I don't know what I do, of my weapons. Apparently, I'm frightened. Cannot move. Frightened enemies have a disadvantage. Okay, that's just me. Can I buff myself? Can I, like, cl can I cleanse? Let's see. Let's see. Cure a creature from disease, poison, paralysis, or blindness. But does it cure them of fright? I don't think so. Uh, is there an ability that does that, though? Thaumaturgy? Beacon of Hope. Well, you know what? Here I go again on my own. Googling Baldur's Gate 3 info. Let's see. Lesser restoration. Frightened. Here we go. Let's see. It can be used to end one condition afflicting a creature. That's not. Wait, I think it might actually cure it. No. No, it doesn't remove frightened condition. Oh, well, a good thing I didn't try to use it. Okay, well, I guess she's just going to lose her rage then. That's okay. Because I don't think I have anything that helps. So, uh, you know what? Whatever. Hey, uh... Should I do... Can I do this? Oh, I can do it as a level four. Hmm. Actually, wait a second. Let me see, what, what's going on with you? Form of Dread. The Chirai has 15 temporary hit points. Oh my God, as if you didn't have enough already and can't be frightened. Each time she attacks a foe, that foe can become frightened for one turn. How about you? Do you have your crossbow expert? Well, I can't get close enough actually right now, so I don't think I should be doing spirit guardians yet, although it is great. Um, I would bless, but like, should I bless? Let's just bless. Why not? I'll even do, I'll do uh, number four. Level four. Okay. And good job. Should we go ahead? Should I heal somebody? Should I heal Karlak? Level four? You want me to like level four healer? Yeah, why not? Boom. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get closer, but not that close. What are you lazy motherfuckers doing? Sorry, that was like really aggressive. Oh my god, they whoa! I forgot Gith Yankee can jump like like that. Little Spider-Man right there. Okay, well, um, underdog's bravery. You know, I kind of feel like we should just get rid of these guys. I don't know, or maybe. See, I don't think I can... Yeah. Here we go. I'm just gonna go after this guy. Because otherwise he's gonna be in the back, just being like... With his little bow, and I can't have that. 18 damage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw you next turn. That's gonna be really funny. Survival is all that matters. Okay, so I'm pinned down. However, I'm gonna use Tiger's Bloodlust here. What? Bam! 
Ow. Oh. Reckless attack? Okay. I made them bleed. Oh, I can't cleave. Wait, can I do it again? How many times can I do it? Oh, they just parried me. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. What do you want to do? Let's take a look. Oh, my spell slots are gone. But they recharge on short rest. I am going to just Eldritch Blast them, I guess. Okay, not great, but it's all right. Oh, they're attacking me. Ah, idiot. Misty Step? What? That was really worthless. That was a worthless move. Okay, good. Yeah! 17 damage, good job, Karlak. Karlak is killing it once again. And now, moo hoo hoo ha ha ha. Oh, did you guys get hit by that? <laughs> oh, what about you guys? You guys want to get hit by it too? Oh, yeah? You guys like getting hit by that? How about that? All right, well, that was kind of fun. Disarming attack. Good thing you missed on that. I would not want to lose my axe. Okay, they're banging me up, but I guess what? I'm taking it. Hell yeah. Okay. Let's, let's, let's. Oh, too heavy to throw. Oh, come on. He's a little shrimpy guy. Carlac. Carlac, come on. You could throw that guy over your shoulder like a continental soldier. Don't even give me that. Should I cleave? Yeah. Nice. Um, die. He is not dead. All right, well, I'm gonna do a frenzy strike then. Yeah, uh, that's too bad, isn't it? What do you got on ya? Arrow of many targets. These get the Yankee half plates. I'm just gonna send that to the camp. I'm gonna send the Yankee crossbow to the camp too. Actually, that's probably better than what I already have on uh, Hafnirdia. Let's see, send that to camp. Uh, eh. You know, we don't gotta carry every single thing that we find. Let's send that to Hafniridea. And we'll send that. And I'm begging you to attack me, please. Blood comes easy these days. Okay, so you can just use Tiger's Bloodlust like all the time. You can just be like, I want to use it again. And then you use, you use it again. Oh my god, so you can just... I mean, I can just keep using it. That's so sick, dude. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Uh, do we want to like... Yeah, I've got enough health pots. Might as well use them up. Well, you want to make yourself useful somehow? I guess you're stuck with your cantrips. Did you guys like that? I said cantrips that time. Okay, so what is this? Poison spray? Project a puff of noxious gas. I think I'm gonna keep hitting them. Uh, I'm gonna hit both of them. Critical miss? I, I like, shouldn't I have an advantage from up here? Look, I'm looking down on them. Yeah, what are you doing? Take another attack of opportunity. Oh my god. I said, I think I'm immune to frightened is what it said. Frenzied strain. Am I really immune to frightened? Let me take a look. See, uh, okay, there's so much here. While frenzied, you can't be charmed or frightened. I literally just happened to pick the right one. Mindless rage. Okay. Uh, oh, right. Nice. So, uh... Anyway, it's, it's okay, guys. I'll leave you alone. <gasps> Just kidding. I came back. I didn't really... 
I was wondering if it would if it would let me do that. Um, let me just attack. Divine Strike Radiant. Oh, we got him, dude. We got him. Camp supplies? Sure, whatever. Get the Yankee Greatsword. Awesome. Uh, so, like... Yeah, I guess that's good. You're really, I mean... Wow, great to heal. Healing for 2 HP? This is but a flesh wound. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just... Attack ya. Can I lacerate you? Lacerating you. Big time. Can I throw? Damn. There's really nothing. I guess I could do another frenzied strike, yeah. Just getting as much damage in as possible. Uh, yeah, sure, let's get him. Raid a parry. Well, not anymore. That was fun. Send to camp. Ooh, the grilled miniature giant space hamster. What? Giant space hamster. There's a, wait, there's a YouTuber named Space Hamster, isn't there? I don't know. Okay. You know what? I'm coming up. That way if you move away. Heh <laughs> Well. You'll get two attacks of opportunity. Alright, well, do you think you can hit her from here? 30%. What is this? 50%? Let's try it. A critical miss and a miss. Well, you're really disappointing me right now. Coming through. Fine, let's go back. Let's go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm moving up, up, on up. Thank you. So what are you doing? Are you seriously moving away? Oh, a critical hit for like 30 damage. You know, I really thought that you were going to be better than this. You kind of suck. Now you like that? 31 damage. Are you guys ready for the old classic? Let's use Firebolt. <laughs> 9%? Oh my gosh. Not enough movement. I can't hit. Let's see. Fine. I will... Um, piercing shot. Yeah. Awesome. Great job. What's it gonna take? Okay, we just gotta hit as many times as possible. Bam, and a frenzied attack, please. Two, stand in my way. and this should do it. Bionic detector alerted us to the Githyanki attack. Looks like Voss was good for his word. Right, I remember him saying, Kithrak Voss, I remember him saying, ooh, bracers, quickened mage hand. You can cast mage hand as a bonus action. Strength saving throws plus one telekinesis. I also got some royal orders. Do what has been asked of you. Stop the interlopers. Take back what is mine, I'm else done. your punishment will be I severe. Can't wait to sleep. By order of your queen. Wow. Um, I'm just gonna send equipment that I get to camp, and then I can sell them there. Psionic ward armor. Um. I mean, I'm good on these. Eh. Let's add that to wares. All right. Well, they were idiots. <laughs> they ambushed us, but guess what? These boots have seen everything. We took care of it. I'm wondering if maybe I should take a short rest here. Might as well. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. You ungrateful little shit road to Baldur's gate that this is the road to Baldur's gate What's inside? okay but the aren't the absolutes forces right there Silhouettes leave you no doubt. 
A veritable army swarms the path ahead. Yeah, we're... we're hardly pushovers, but let's not pretend we can take on an entire army. I was never going to suggest such a thing. I'm not afraid we need to press on. We're in a match for an army. Yeah. I mean, come on. I mean, I could take like the six ogres maybe, but uh, yeah. Oof. How are we supposed to get to Baldur's Gate then? How is anyone supposed to get to Baldur's Gate? I guess that's the idea, huh? We're going to light the brazier, which I know you guys said it's not pronounced that way, but I think it's kind of funny, so... I decided to start calling it that. Shabby wooden doors, there's mushrooms in there. A, ooh, blush cap mushrooms. Ooh, they're making me blush. I'm picking them up. Okay, there's also a veterinary log in here, apparently. Stallion K3, butchered. Mare A2, butchered. Stallion K1, butchered. Told delivered to House of Healing Food Stores, 118 stone. Let's see. You were enabling them. They were butchering animals outside, and they were but butchering people inside, I guess. I don't know. I was trying to think of something to say. Sometimes in this game, you're just like, what is the next thing that I'm going to say? And you don't know <laughs> until it happens. You know what? I'm going to go this way. There's not really... Okay, there's some kind of enemy up here. Oh, no. The Harpers. Yo, we got to watch out for them. Oh wow, are there? Betty Kansif. Who the hell? Okay, well. Oh no, it's Karnis. I was about to say, why do I recognize that name? Oh, he's not so tough. Spider-Man over here. Spindleweb fanaticism. Affected entity and its allies deal an additional one to six damage, psychic damage, as long as it isn't incapacitated. The entity's movement speed is also increased by three meters. Temporarily hostile. I'm gonna go ahead and say they're zombies, they're dead. They're not temporarily hostile. I don't know why it says that. It says that sometimes I've noticed and I've taken its word for it. Earlier in the Shadow Curse lands, there were, uh, there was like a Shadow Curse Harper, when that got converted, and it was like temporarily hostile, and I was like, it's permanently hostile. Okay, I don't know who you think you're fooling. Um, I kind of. So who's who's in this? Sharp Eye Laura, Warrior Gronag, Betty Kansif, Carnus. Okay, but these guys aren't these Harpers aren't in the fight yet. And I'm guessing that they don't fight against these guys. I'm guessing they're all against us. Is that right? Um, can I hop over there? Oh, I can't hit. Okay, um, how about you? I'll hit you a couple times. Some... There we go. That's fine. Yeah, come on up. So this is like the town square, kind of. Should get started. Here I go. Can I attack? I can. Uh, I kind of want to kill this guy, actually. Yeah. Oh, did I get him? I did get him. Nice. Okay. Good. Before his turn. On my way. Um. Oh, that's okay. On the victor's path. On the victor's path. On the path. Making my move. Um. Not enough movement. 
Invalid path. Okay, well, I guess you'll also hit with an arrow. Oh my god. I forgot that he's got the crossbow that gives Bane. Funny. All right, what are you guys going to do? Except die. How, how is there not an attack of opportunity just now? Hello, girls? We need to clear this area before Carnage gets over here. He looks like a, he, he hits like a truck. Um... Can't quite get over there. Um, you know what? You guys can handle that. I'm just gonna. Nine HP. Hey, you want to keep a skull, bro? Um. Okay. Well. What about Cansif here? Ooh. Thermo Arcanic Gloves. Whenever you do fire fire damage, you gain two turns of heat. Okay, I'm just gonna send that to the... Oh, you had a lantern? That's funny. Uh, too bad it wasn't any good, so... Who, who is left? You? Oh my god, we got him. We got him. These guys suck. Is ever easy. Nothing important is ever easy. Another day, another right. fight. Well, we're we're really killing it. I mean, we're just not really even giving them an inch, are we? Okay. Uh well. Don't waste a step. Well, well, well. Why not? Yeah. You know what? I think it takes him a while to get around, so I think we'll just take pot shots at him. Do I check radiant? Yeah. Ooh, radiating orb. Nice. And, uh, yeah, we'll just keep, uh. You're gonna have to get over here, buddy. Okay, here he goes. See, like he's. he's <sighs> Oh no, I activated them. I was warning about that. Well, whatever. Got a critical hit. You want to do another hit? Yeah, what's a couple more? I don't care. Okay, your armor class is like... Is it like 14 or something? Yeah, 14. How do I know? Alright, let's just take care of this. Take care of business here. Yeah. Critical hit. I mean, he looks a lot scarier than he is. This is the funny thing. Oh, I don't have any more spell slots for that. That's okay. We'll just do a guiding bolt on him. 13 damage. Probably should have done that first, but that's okay. Uh, now you... You just want to move in and hit him. Give him a little poke with your sword, Will. Today you yeah, why not? You earn a special treat. Venom claws. And he missed. Oh my god, he sucks, dude. I didn't think he would suck as bad as he did, but... But he sucks. Um... Ugh, these wraiths. Shadow. Shadow. Oh, it's three shadows. No wraiths. Okay. So who are these Harpers? We don't know them, do we? They're just... Randos. Uh... Moving back. Yeah, go ahead and move invisible, you idiots. Hmm. Wow, okay. Nice. <clears throat> shadow blend. Mm. I can blend into the shadows. I use dark currents. Alright. 
What if I just use Sigurd Flame? Nice. Okay. I'm gonna move up this way. Come on, guys, please. Come over here. I need easy pickings. Will can use his fireball there. That'll be really funny. Uh. I mean, I'd love to. Oh, should I just do it? It says path is interrupted. Is that true? We can leave him alive for one more turn. Loading. Processing. Oh, really sorry about that. Wait, how come they didn't get hit? They didn't get hit? Really? Okay, he's still blinded. Uh... I kind of did that to attack them, but whatever. Can I cleave now? Come on over. Okay. Uh. Finally. Oh, what? You just had this cruel sting. Okay. And, um... Let's see. There we go. I love that tiger attack, actually. That, that cleave is sick. Really good. Strength drain, no! Okay, I gotta save. Okay, it's okay. Alright, you knuckleheads. Um, don't you know? I've got a legendary weapon with me. It's, uh, the blood of Lathander. Actually. Let's see. Just making sure I understand it right. Um, now I have Sunbeam, but I don't think I have a slot for it available. That's okay. What if I just... Oh my god, I instantly killed. Holy shit. What are you doing? Trying to get a backstab off or what? Um, alright, do you want to do like a fireball? Maybe not that. I keep wanting to do fireball though. Let's see. I'm going to do hold person on... Oh, target must be a humanoid. Damn, they can't be a zombie. That's so stupid. Burning hands. Can hit both of these guys with it. Oh, one of them is suffering from mental fatigue right now after being burned up like that. Whoops. Oh, sorry. Are you undergoing some sort of mental fatigue? <laughs> what's mental? What's mentally fatiguing about this place? Oh, I should have picked up this guy. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Maybe cleave. I kind of want to take the shadows out, actually. They're kind of annoying me. They're going to go, like, invisible again. Not on my watch. Um. Let's see. Can I... I know it provides, like, attack of opportunity or whatever, but... What is this routing? It, like, makes no sense. Disengage. Here? 
Okay, yeah. That'll set me up better for a cleave next turn. Whatever. Uh, or I could just insta kill with guiding light. No. <laughs> I don't know. I like wasted a turn doing that. And I lost my rage. That's fine. I didn't think about that. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm kind of checked out anyway, to be honest. I didn't do damage to me there, did I? I might have. I don't know. You dickhead. Listen, he was mentally fatigued. I had to put him out of his misery. Never a dull moment. There we go. We did it. Half plate armor. Uh, nice. Let's see if these Harpers were here, you know. I guess. Anything of use? <laughs> who knows who they were? They don't have names. Not a big deal. Send to camp. I don't know. Um, some of these are like worth a lot, so if they're Under worth the over like a hundred. I'll take them. You feel a rush of outrage. This woman worshipped Shah to the end. So why does the Night Singer's curse not spare her? Hmm. It's a good question. Seems simple enough. Seems like Shah is kind of an, older man an asshole. Turns his head away in shame. His neighbors would not renounce Saluna. Now they hang in the town square. You see a man drain his tankard in an inn as he listens to a flaming fist play the lute. He's better than his uniform might suggest. Well, what's the signpost? Ahead, House of you Keeling. You catch a glimpse of the lute playing flaming fist. It's the catatonic man you encountered in Last Light Inn. Oh, I see. Art. And I have his loot. Very interesting. <laughs> plaque? What's this plaque? Was that a click I heard? There's something about these plaques. Adio S of Eight F Shawl. Really? Hmm. What's that? RL Mistra when Oh, we're spelling out something. Our lady, Mr. Okay, so we gotta go. Hang on, hang on. We gotta go. Our lady, mistress, when night, Thorm. Okay, I get it. Hmm, what's that? Rise. That's probably the last one. Pain of loss. Our Lady of Loss. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Something related to Char. Okay, so like, you do that. And then this one. And then... That one. Hmm. What was that? Well, you, you opened this shit up, is what you did. Okay. The curse has no effect here. What is this place? It's a Sharan Sanctuary, it looks like. Very glad to have Shadowheart here with us. I guess. Okay. What, dude, is this Shar? Are these statues of Shar? Damn, Char's kind of a baddie. Yeah, okay. All right. Hey, I volunteer as tribute. All right. Let's check this out. Iron torches, yeah. I like how it says the iron torch receives a condition called burning. Very interesting. So obviously this opens up somehow. What's going on? Do you think yourself wise enough to be granted Shah's blessing? 
saving throw. You feel like a veritable sage after all you've experienced of late. Uh, hmm. I'm curious. Do I want to be doing this? Darling? Oh, whoa. I, I actually didn't want to talk to you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's not that I didn't want to talk to you. It's just I wasn't ready. Yeah, so there's... Open up. There's not really anything else here. Hmm. Are you bold of heart and sharp of tongue? Can you turn any and all to the Dark Lady's cause? Smirk, of course. Need you even say it? Should we have I'm Shadowheart do this? It takes. Are you bold of heart and sharp of tongue? Cleric of Shar, Can nod. Can you turn any and all to the Dark Lady's cause? With Shar's words on your tongue and teachings in your heart, no one, none can deny you. Confidence surges through you. You feel like there is nothing you can't do, no one you can't win over. The statue seems to agree and approve. Ah, okay. Forward. Very glad to hear that. Do you accept Shah's test of your intellect? I am Shah's child. There's no reason to shy away. You feel a small pulse of energy race up your spine and a strange sensation of acceptance. Okay. So now I just do this one and then it opens. Do you think yourself wise enough to be granted I bow my head modestly. blessing? I am wise if Shar deems so. Ignorant if she deems so. A warm swell rises through you. Acceptance. You are worthy. Well. You're inspired. What okay. On my way. What the hell? So what is this? Shar Altar. Or should we have Shadowheart do this? The purpose is unclear, but the dagger upon it looks valuable. Uh. Hmm. Maybe you know. Maybe you know what this is all about. An altar to Shar. It appears to seek prey and a blood offering. Your blood. <clears throat> Cleric of Shar. Take up the dagger, recite Shar's wisdom, and offer blood from your arm. I guess. Sure. I mean, what's with a little blood? You know? And she would she would do this. Oh. No time to rest. Elixir of necrotic resistance, potion of angelic reprieve. Don't mind if I do. And it gave me two scroll of revivify. Have to keep okay, going. cool. Is that it? What's this ritual dagger? Can we take the ritual dagger or do we have to leave it here? Is it gonna Aladdin me? You have touched the forbidden treasure! Okay, well, I guess that's all that was here. I mean, I'd like to get another dagger for Astarian, but, you know, maybe not the ritual dagger of Shar. Excuse me. Holy hell. Sorry, sorry about that. Here we go. Alright, well, cool. Thank you. Kind of weird that it's like right here, but I get it. Okay, now where? Let's see. We haven't been up here or that way. So let's look around. Actually, this is where Ella, Arabella was. So we've... Okay, we've already been this way. Do we need to go back to the Mason's Guild? Because it acted like there was going to be something better there than what ended up being there. I think it's safe to say, yeah. Wraithwind Toll House. Dog collar, cat collar, cleaver. Silver knife. 
Oh, is that a pick up an ad to wares? Yeah. The toll house. Oh, that's this big. Oh, that was this place. Right here, the toll house. It's on the other side of this. Huh, okay. Well, I kind of want to go get the ledger. So maybe we go do that first? I don't know. Let's take a look. Signpost. North, North, Rythwin. East, right. Rythwin Toll House. South, Moonrise Towers. West, the Waning Moon. Let's go to the Waning Moon. Because uh, I got to get that thing done for he who was or whatever his name is. The Waning Moon. Now I got the pixie blessing, so we should be good to go like literally anywhere we want to go. Is that right? Hmm. What's that? What? There's like very little dirt there. But all right. <laughs> all right. At this point, are we just like saving all our gold for Baldur's Gate? Ooh, a key just back here. Right? What? Did somebody say something? Will, was that you? Okay, there we go. Jeez, it took forever to get that. Ah! This person died hanging their head in shame. Yeah, are we just saving up for Baldur's Gate at this point? Because, I mean, I guess I'm fine with that. Okay, yeah, we've already done this. So can I go in right here or I hear a guy back here blighted actor I should speak up one day I'll get there one day what are you doing up here on this stage or where is it you're trying to go Baldur's gate where the streets sparkle with silver and the actors have jobs. There's a big tent, funny costumes, the circus. Yes, that's it. I was going to the circus. Well, better get a move on. What am I doing here? Oh, what the hell is this thing? What? Are you friendly? I mean, it doesn't matter if you are or not. Crank, this about Thorm. So you're a Thorm, huh? What in all nine hells are you? Son of Thorm! Son of Sword Coast. Okay. Go on. Kills. Bottoms up. Go back. Well, what the is it? The curse has wrecked this man. This is no life. This is torture. Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Okay, so we're gonna fight now or what? Oh my god, so what if that's all it takes? To the hills and back. 288 HP. Let's take a look at him. Oh my god. Whoa! He's got four feet! And a piggy tail. What the heck? See, this is what I'm saying. I as soon as I saw these tubes and stuff, I was like, "There's no way I'm drinking that." It, it's like I think you're producing it. Gaseous reflex. Physical damage has added gas to Thistlebald's special brew, letting him use Roaring Belch. And he's immune to thunder, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. Immunity. 
That is too bad because that is most of what we can do for damage. Your puny attacks can't break through the numbness the Zabalt fields. He's immune to slashing, piercing, bludgeoning, and thunder damage. Um. Okay. Well. Uh, let's go ahead and just attack these guys then, I guess. I don't know. Undead fortitude. When reduced to zero hit points, regain one hit point instead. Interesting. Unless the damage was radiant. Oh no, Shadow Heart. I'm ready. Oh no, I I like I don't have enough. I don't have enough radiant damage. Okay. Well, we can we can still kill with critical hits. How are we gonna get past this? This is uh this is tough. Okay. Fuck yes. Well I already did it, Crawley. Okay. So what's he doing? Holy hell. Um, well, I guess I'll just start trying to stack damage on him. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, 21 damage. So am I just going to be like... Um... Let's see, so I think we want to Sacred Flame this guy. Okay, now he died. Great. Am I just like stalling time? Lathander's light. Oh, actually. Should probably get close. Because if he's got slashing and bludgeoning and piercing immunity, that means none of our conventional weapon weapons can even hit him. But I can't keep attacking these guys. That sounds good. Can I pick him up? Oh. Target is too far. How about this? Okay, yeah. That's bludgeoning damage, and so that didn't do any damage to him. Awesome. Uh, okay. Let's see. I think I can do the two... Oh. oh, Acid Reflex. Acid damage has spoiled Thistlebolt's special brew, letting him use Acidic Regurgitation. Okay. He's also apparently prone. Hmm. Immune to control undead. That was going to be my next question. You can't turn him. Uh, all right. Well, I don't know. Okay. Too heavy to shove. Okay, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll just keep Eldritch blasting him for five damage a pop. Um, and I'll just keep sacred flaming to kill these guys, the flunkies. Let's see. Add to where's. I am gonna move back, however. He keeps getting saved. Yeah, come on. Come on, blighted troublemaker or whatever you are. Oh, wow. I've got a lot of damage. Um... This makes them go prone, which is pretty funny. Okay. Does it cause bleeding? If I do drow poison... Okay. 
Okay. Okay, stricken with drow poison. Okay, great. Pretty good, actually. So I can just... 11 damage. Uh... Okay, that actually... Wow, that didn't kill him. It did just about enough damage, though. Get off of me! Okay, see, I don't know what to do about this. Ow. I can't kill that guy. And I can't do any damage to the other guy, so I'm gonna go over here and just attack this dude. The troubadour over here. The lighted troubadour. Another fight. Let's go. Um, sure. Okay, he got inoculated to the drow poison. That sucks. I'm gonna do a little bleeding to him. You know, I can do something, right? Yeah, it's doing the two acid damage. Oh, wow. Poor Carlac. No! Moderately inebriated. What the hell? It's a fire hallucination. Fire resistance aura. Dream like aura fire. Staying close to the creature grants resistance to fire damage. Okay. I mean, I'm... Oh, there we go. That was a 26 points of damage right there. Uh... He got a save off? Oh, fuck you. Here, I'll... I'll engage, though. I don't take any damage. So... You know what? Okay. Can I get out of here? Nice. I am going to have a potion of healing, I think. Oh, I used up my extra attack, I guess. Um, so... Alright. I'll take the guy on the ground. There we go. Uh, yeah. Let's go. For no Carlac. Hmm. That provokes an attack of opportunity, but... I gotta take every point of damage that I can on this Thistlebald here. Moderately inebriated, so what does that mean? Each sip of a special brew makes Thistlebald more intoxicated. I started hallucinating imps. Oh. Well, He's about to belch. Acid reefers. Yeah, I'm like nickel and diming him with like two, two HP each. Thirty-three. Another drink might knock him out. Okay. He's profoundly intoxicated. He's on the verge of passing out from his heavy drinking. He has disadvantage on charisma and dexterity checks. Okay. Uh, I'll hit him and him. All right, you missed that one. That kind of sucks, I guess. Okay. Um. There we go. 
can I heal you? There we go. Aug. Oh, brother. Um, is there really anything I can do here? I mean, is there something I can interact with? Like, yeah, Carlock just is not really built for this. Hmm. Do regular damage and possibly inflict gaping wounds, which cause extra damage on attacks? I mean, sure. That didn't work. Just hit him for fun. Yeah, immune to piercing damage. Despite everything. Okay, I did bleeding and a critical hit. He's still profoundly intoxicated. Stricken with trial poison, that's crazy. Okay, um... Can you please kill this guy? There we go. I wish I had my uh, whirling blades or whatever. Spirit guardians, that's what they're called. There we go. Uh, yeah, so I can't really do anything. I'm just gonna end her turn. And yeah. I think he's gonna fall asleep at some point. It's hard to tell. <laughs> he's profoundly intoxicated. Uh, yeah, go ahead and just. There you go. I mean, we're slowly getting him. How about Guiding Bolt? I missed. My rage is ended. Yeah, no shit. Uh, you know, might as well just like loot while I'm up here. Huh. Is there a trick to this that I'm just I'm just not seeing? Like, is there an environmental thing? Rat bat. I wonder what that is. What's this rat bat over here? Uh, wasn't there something? I thought I saw. I'm not crazy, right? I saw a rat bat. There's something over there called rat bat, and I was like, that seems interesting. My faith will protect me. Yeah, rat bat. Can I examine this? 4 to 11 damage bludgeoning. I guess we'll just keep the drink. It's turned necrotic. It's turned necrotic. It wasn't already. Necrotic damage has spoiled Disabol's special brew, letting him use a rotting regurgitation. He's also profoundly intoxicated. He's on the verge of passing out. His brew is necrotic. Like, there's just all sorts of problems mm -hmm. happening. You go ahead and open that up, Carlac. That's all yours. Yeah, you take the autumn crocus. Here, you you take these. Half an idea. Yeah. All right. Time to push my luck again. I guess we'll just keep attacking and hitting him with bleed. Or whatever. I mean, I'm definitely doing this wrong, but like... I mean, it's working so far. I miss the Dark One's blessing. He's blacked out. This bolt has overindulged in his own brew. He has a minus five penalty to armor class and is vulnerable to slashing, piercing, armoring, armor, and thunder damage. Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. Get back over there. Whoa, we did a lot of damage. Okay. Um, 
Divine Strike Radiant. Sure. Um, let's see. Melee. Fall, damn you. Fall, damn you. Okay, well, you didn't need to tell me twice. Here I come. Oh, actually. Here, let's, let's dash. Is this really the... Okay. Go, Carlac, go. Get him. Get him, girl. All right. Uh, and yeah. He's recovering now. Ow. Miss, miss, critical miss. That was his ladle he was attacking with, right? He's an interesting boss. He reminds me of like a darkest dungeon boss in a lot of ways. Like this is a very like darkest dungeon mechanic of him just being like, I've got this status effect. Now I've got this status effect. Whoops, now I've got this one. This evolved has had enough of his own concoctions for now. Soon the numbness will set in once more and the cycle will start all over again. Uh, yeah, well, I think you're gonna be dead before that happens, buddy. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna have a chance to to be numb, Mr. Lincoln Park. Yeah, you know what? Maybe if you didn't attack me because I refused your drink, this wouldn't have happened. It's hard to have any sympathy for you. This is how you treat your customers. What the? He seemed more lonely than cruel. Well, he literally attacked us because we didn't drink his little body drink thing. So, yeah, exactly. I don't feel bad for him. So, glad we got that out of the way. No traps, please. I feel like act one is a lot more like morally ambiguous than act two. Let's I feel like away. there's so many people that I meet in act two that I'm like, let's just kill these guys. <laughs> and let's just kill them. You know, like, that wasn't a tough one. That's curious. A loose That's plank. So Madeline's ledger, we found it. The words for the attention of dark justicier Natasha are written across the top of every page. This is an excerpt from the last page. Morning, day 15. Zyman Nowak said Catherick wouldn't hold on to Moonrise Towers for long at this rate. Evening, day 18. Imani Atakni claimed it was unfair that the Thorms had the cushiest jobs. Night, day 22. Mark Jacobs. Benjamin Blanchett. Made jokes about the Thorms, especially Lord Kethrick. Said he was a misery guts, a weeping nutsack, and discussed exactly how his wife would have liked it. <laughs> I know what Mark and Ben said was just plain awful, Lantasha, but they're some of my best friends, and I've never heard such talk out of them. They were upset over their wages being cut and were the drunkest I'd ever seen by midnight. I know it looks bad, but hand over heart, you've never met two gents more devoted to Our Lady. I swear it. A different, more elegant script appears beneath it. Our Lady of Loss would be proud of you, Madeline. Do not worry about Mark and Benjamin. Myself and your two gents are simply going to have a little chat. I promise. Okay. So she tattled on them. Take that with us. It's not enough to just read it, I'm guessing. Metal door. Where is this going? Off to the side? There's like a little lab over here. Research notes. I don't really care how you made your little concoction, dude. Research notes. They describe a powerful venom extracted from a rare purple worm. Distill a thizzable thorn sought to create a fatal poison using the worm's gullet. He procured several parts of a worm gullet, but rinsed one in error. The poison he brewed was noxious, but not fatal. Visible devoted oh, months to formulating a deadly poison with the remaining ingredients. 
without success. After exhaustive experimentation, he was able to make a near-deadly extract from the glands. But to complete his poison, Thisabald required one last ingredient, the petals of a corpse rose. The book's index reveals corpse roses may grow near tombs, mausoleums, and particularly redolent cadavers. Thisabald enlisted a courier from Baldur's Gate to obtain corpse rose petals and other ingredients and deliver them to a covert location. Unfortunately, a deep purple stain darkens the final page, obscuring the parcel's destination. Focus your eyes on the page. Mentally separate the blank ink from the purple stain. We've got four inspiration points, so... Eh, okay. Roll again. I mean, what else are we going to use these inspiration points for? Right? Yes, we got it. I was about to say, I'm not going to do it a third the time. Black from the blue, revealing the stash's location. You mark your map as a reminder. With the corpse rose petals the package contains, you might create Visible's purple worm poison. Oh, that's the very rare poison. I remember uh, the vendor in uh, House of Healing had that available. Didn't they? Perception failed. It's trapped. Ooh, more drow poison. This will be fun. Will it? Hell yeah, drow poison. That stuff is good. Um, okay, oh, there's a heavy chest over here. There's lots of chests. Okay. Pick up an add to wares. How many thieves tools do I even have, man? I feel like I've got so many. Icarus Gloves. When the wearer deals acid damage, they also inflict noxious fumes. Okay. I might need more thieves tools. Uh, disarm. I'm gonna need more guidance. Nice, we got it. How many, how many, seriously, how many do I have? I hit 21 on that and I didn't need to. Okay, so it's just alchemical ingredients for, uh, I'm gonna craft my first item, I can't wait. Can you guys, can you guys wait for when I craft my first item? What is this, part 33, part 32? I'm gonna do it. It's going to be a momentous occasion when I craft my first item. Just wait. Uh, got it. Punch Drunk Bastard. Okay, it's a great club. Let's go ahead and send that to camp. On Serpent Venom Toxin. Would you like to know something interesting? If you mix suspension of venomous fang with vitriol of Lolt's candle, any vitriol will do, out comes a poison drip drip drip. When in doubt with alchemy, when in need of ecstasy, when my throat clicks with scream, drip 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 is what I dream. It did not work, the platinum scaled plan did not work, and I hurt so badly. Well, I got a new thingy. The waning moon consignments. Is this Here's some extra information? Uh, Father Ketherick's reach begins to extend beyond Wraithwind's borders. The Thorms are but collectors. Collectors of coin, glory, blood, and more yet. I, however, collected that which holds the most valuable. Information. The Mason caught my eye. Straight are his steps and faithful are his words, for as long as drink does not touch his tongue. Two drops of Blackfire whiskey, and he sings his heart's true tune. He calls Father a tyrant, a coward, a traitor. He beseeches the Moon Maiden to shine upon him once more. Dangerous words. I have told Father. He will surely silence the Mason and make him an example. Meanwhile, the Mason draws his heresy. It is all I can do not to mock him to his very face. 
My own methods used against me. The ale she fed me was poisoned, and by my own hand. My truth serum was all too effective. I professed a lot. The poison drinks, Malice's treatment, the interrogations, all of it. She means to reveal our schemes to the Baldur's Gate authorities. Unless, of course, I grace her palm with more gold than Garengoth could muster. Father would have my head if he knew, or worse yet, donate me to Malice. Such is my good fortune that I possess all manner of barrels. She should make a perfect fit. The Harpers came too close. They poisoned Father Ketherick himself, yet he professes no ill effects. Malice insisted a fluke. Doctor he may be, but he is no less a fool for it. Father has achieved that of which I can only dream, immortality. I have long suspected. I can guess Father's purpose, but I cannot fathom the means. That's something I am interested that I may have read it earlier, but how is Ketherick immortal? Because he, I mean, we found like ancient that stuff talking about him when we were in Grimforge, talking about Ketherick Thorn. And so it's kind of like, well, how far back does this go? 164 gold. Whew. Okay. So it looks like we're all done here. Nice. Um, I'm almost wondering if we should long rest. Yeah, I don't know if I buy this narrative like, he was lonely, he wasn't a bad guy. Dude, he, I came into his bar or whatever the hell this is, and he was like, drink from my uh, backpack stuff. And I was like, no. And he was like, then die. He wasn't a good guy, are you kidding me? I will kill you now, Belch. Uh, oh, there's a key here. I just collect all the keys. Thank God for the key ring. Um, I mean, is better not be cursed. I hope it's not. Is there anything in here? A rotten cheese wedge. Does it open this? Okay. Oh my god. What? Well, I'm just back on the street now. What the hell? Whoa. What is up with that raven? Yeah, we got the ledger. Oh, the brewer's alchemical stash. Hey, wait, wait, wait. We need to go do that. Is it... So it's right there? Oh, is it this way? It might be over here. Oh yeah, yeah, it's, it shows up on the map. Is it this dirt mound right here? Ahem, yes. Record of shipment. Frost salamander tongue. Cloud giant finger. What the hell are these? And four corpse rows. T. Thistlebald. Sending you the request in green, says per your letter, including the purple worm glands. I'm eager to see the result of your experiments. Please send me some exa uh, samples when it's completed. I have a few clients who would be very interested in the toxic fruits of your labors. All right, you want to hear something embarrassing? I would craft the poison, but I don't know how. How do you craft? Is it C? That's hide. Is it? How do you do it? Tab? Spellbook? Where's the crafting menu? Middle mouse click? P? What is this? I've never looked at this screen before. Okay, so we're gonna do what we normally do. That was really embarrassing. Uh, we're gonna look at the keybinds. Let's see. Let's see, actions? Um. It 
illithid powers, you know I really need to get around to eating those parasites. I just haven't yet. Alchemy is H. Now tell me why would I know that? H? Maybe it shouldn't be this screen. Okay. So if I wanted to... Potion of animal speaking. Okay. Elixirs. Elixir of bark skin. Grenades. I swear I have more. Here we go. Thistlebald's brewed up belly glummer. Um. Salts of corpse rose. Um. Wait, how do I get any suspension? Uh. How do I make um, salts of corp? I did it once. I did like really early. I'm getting rid of the exclamation points because it bothers me. Get rid of it. Vitriol suspensions. I can make solution of night orchid. Surely I can make more than that. Surely I can make more suspensions than that. What? Wait. No, 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 no. Is it... It's not patched together, sack. Is it my pouch? Oh, this has, like, all my potions and stuff in it. Alchemy pouch. Yeah, here it is. Like, are you telling me... Um, well. That I can't make any other suspension? But don't I have other flowers? I thought I did. Isn't that how you make them? You like crush them up and... Cause it's saying I can only do it out of Night Orchid. Well, what about Black Oleander? Combine three of these to create Vitriol. Oh. Same with Shadowroot Sack. Oh, I see, okay. Pegasus Feather. Hmm. So maybe I should probably pick more flowers, huh? <laughs> Combine three of these to grind them into salts. So like, if I wanted to com combine these. I could do the Chasm Creeper. Okay. Okay, so how come I don't have more available? This is why I didn't want to do this. I'll be honest. That's why I didn't want to do it. And that's why I'm stopping right now. Let's go back to uh, he who was or whatever. Take a quick break from all that. Swift as my feet can carry Is me. it? No, it actually isn't this way. Where's he who was? Are they? Oh, I kind of forget where they are. Uh... He who was. Is it like right here? At least things have stayed interesting. I think it might be. Is it? Is it like right over here? Um. Is it up here? No. <laughs> I kind of forget where it is. You know what? We should long rest anyway. So let's go ahead and just do that. And I'll come back to that. The White Raven can deal for a minute. For a hot minute. You know what I was thinking also? I think I might take Karlak out of my party because the main reason I had her out was because... Um... You know, we had to talk with Damon and stuff, but now that we've done that. Hey, you. Hey, don't look too happy to see me. I'm gonna need you to stay behind in camp. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. You don't mean that. You heard oh, me. Oh, fine. I'll be here eating dirt or whatever. 
It's just it gets a little crowded with two barbarians. You understand? Now I want to keep Will in the party, and I want to keep Slim Shady over here. May the darkness protect you. Oh God. Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking I might want to have Will in the or sorry, Gale in the party. I haven't had him in the party for What's a while. What's on your mind? I think I'd want you in the party. With pleasure. Lead on. Yeah. Great. Quite ready for you. Oh my gosh. Look at how little HP you have. We got to fix this. Oh, we got to take that armor off. That's not going to work. Okay, level 6. Oh, so many spells, dude. Um, all right. What do you what do you have? Like Melf's acid arrow. Sick. Uh, that, yeah, that seems cool. Animate dead. I mean, there's so many. It's like... How about you do... Yeah, sure. I don't think you have any acid spells. So, fine. If you want to do that one, then do that one. Uh... I mean... Yeah, lightning bolt, sure. Do damage. Damaging spells are good to have. I know that. Apparently I gained two new spells. Let's see. I need to pick stuff that like you can't permanently learn from a scroll, because apparently if you give Gale scrolls, he just learns the spell permanently, which is crazy. Do you know Fireball? Fireball's a good spell. I like Fireball. Autoluke's Resilient Sphere. Enclose a target in a sphere of shimmering force. Uh, blocking all incoming damage and spell effects. Ooh. Uh, but they also can't cast spells or deal damage, so what's the point? Ooh, Ice Storm. Hell yeah. Fire Shield. I like that. Hey, if it's got a fire icon, I'm in. Let's see. Are we just... We're just learning a million different spells. We're just learning all the crazy ones. Conjure Minor Elemental? Uh, yes. I'll take that. Confuse a group of creatures. Cause them to attack at random, wander aimlessly, and occasionally skip turns. That sounds great. Uh, yes, we have all these, right? Oh my god, you have Fireball. Oh, I just because I know the spells doesn't mean that I have prepared them. I see. I see. Okay, we want to keep Thunder Wave. Let's get rid of Sleep. Let's get... Oh, we keep Magic Missile. Cloud Daggers. Counter Spell. We got to keep Counter Spell. Witch Bolt is like, I think terrible. I'm not sure because I've only tried it like a couple times, but I think it's bad. Uh, let's do Conjure Minor Elemental. Let's do uh, Confusion. That's fine. And let's see. Mage. Martial Adept. What's a good ritual caster? You can learn two ritual spells of your choice. Like what? Oh. Ow. Oh, well, no. No. Absolutely not. Let's see. War caster. You gain advantage on saving throws to maintain concentration. That would be good for Shadowheart, actually. She would like that. Elemental Adept. Your spells and attacks ignore resistance to a damage type of your choice. Um, I mean, is ability improvement, is that... Is it bad if I just go 19 intelligence? Like, let's go. Let's get this on the road. I want Gale, like, just... Flipping these guys over. Spider silk armor. So we don't have the spider silk armor on. A good idea though. Should I take Morning Frost over the spell sparkler? Yeah. 
Nice. Look at look at our awesome rod. Okay, maybe. Well, maybe I could have said that differently, but um, a long way from water deep. You get the idea. Uh, let's see. Is there anything that I want? Because he has like no rings or anything. So we need to like get him something. You can cast Mage Hand as a bonus action. Sure, go ahead, take it. Take it, Gale. That's that's yours. Um. So you don't have any like rings or anything? Are you serious? Okay, I think I actually have all those. Uh, remember when I got this stuffed bear? Because I was like, maybe some, maybe it's some little girls. Okay, there's a necklace, but that's not a big deal. We don't, uh, not, not for him. Ice knife. I'll put that on there just on the off chance. Ring of twilight. Nope. Pass without twi twice. <laughs> oh, you want to self-immolate, Gale? I mean, you kind of want to set yourself off like a little bomb, so... Maybe you'd like to self-immolate, too. Diadem of Arcane Synergy. When you inflict a condition, gain Arcane Synergy for two rounds. Well, you don't have anything right now, so... You go ahead and take that. Why not until I find something better? When the wearer has 50% hit points or less, they don't provoke opportunity attacks. I think actually that's better because like if somebody gets up in his face, I want to be able to get out of it. Envoy's amulet. Hmm. Do we want to give him the misty step boots? Voice of the circle. Oh, don't give him the sentient amulet. I still don't know what I'm doing with that really. Let's see. The ever seeing eye. Saloon's Chosen. Saluna's Chosen, sorry. Tarnished Charm. Do I really, like, not have any good rings? That sucks. Well, you know, whatever. This is fine for the most part, I would say. Um... Do you want to, like, learn a bunch of scrolls? <laughs> eh, I don't really care about that. True Love's Caress. All right. Hmm. Deception plus one. I think we're okay for now. We don't have to have him completely decked out, you know? But actually, some, uh, some boots. Do you have any boots? Feign death. I mean, that might be useful. That's more useful than, than the nothing boots that don't do anything, so. Oh, here's a ring. The wearer cannot be blinded. Hey, why not? We'll take that. Yeah, we take those. And anything else that you've got? Um, yeah, you got this, Gale. I believe in you. We got a bunch of squishies on our team, and me, uh, who is who is not squishy. Just want to throw that out there. Ugh, Volo. Can I go down there? No, that's a chasm. Okay, we don't want to do that. Let's talk to, let's see if Arabella is ready to, to talk to us. Oh, the owlbear cub. Wait, speak with animals. I speak with you. Hello. You are not food. You are friend. That's right. Just like fish. You like it here, huh? Nice here. The caves smell like rotting meat. Goblin coat smells like goblins. Well, we're far away from there. Looks like I'm stuck with you. Yes. Fun. Oh, come on. Let's pet the cub. We got some Ooh, approval more. from everyone. <laughs> you want to be a good pet again? Sure. Ooh, more. 
No, nah, that's it. Just two. You get two. But now you're taking the piss. Love ya. Okay, wait, where, where, where the hell is Arabella? Um, is she this way? Oh, yeah, she's up here. I see you have to go up here, so. You okay? You okay, kiddo? I don't believe it. They can't be. Breathe, child. Resist not the winds of change. Withers, you are like the worst person to be here right now. No. You are absolutely the worst one to be here. No! Listen, dost thou not hear it? Where creation meets ruin, where morning meets midnight, the root of all being, balance. They're dead. I can't. Balance. Your very soul is tangled in shadow. Arabella's magic, wild as cursed briar. Her talent is now yours too. Oh, oh, you just taught me that stuff? The girl must learn the ways <laughs> of the arcane, but she shan't remain here. Well, who died mid you, King? Why not? Yeah. Arabella holds a power beyond reckoning. That of the decaying forest and the seedling that bore it. But it is unbalanced. Her yoke is already heavy. If she walks thy path, it will surely break. Arabella will depart once thou dost leave these accursed lands. She will find her way safely. Thus, it is fated. Bowman, you're making me leave. Fear not, girl. The weave knows thy purpose. It will guide thee, if thou dost listen. You can trust Withers. I don't know, dude. Can you? I'm not going to make you go away. Well, I mean, Withers is kind of annoying, but he's probably right. Fine. I mean, I don't have a better idea. You physically fade as if it were your own. There is a lightness in her now, veiling the power within, soothing it. Is that just... my future? Is that why they died? What the hell, it dude? Is. What the? What? It's wonderful. Thank you, Bowman, for being nice. Is he nice? If there are people like you around, perhaps everything will be all right. What? Shadow Blade. Okay. Great. Thanks, guys. Goodbye now. What's over here? What is this? Where where am I going? What is what where am I going? Oh, here's the mirror. Why am I hearing weird shit up here? There's like crappy clothes and stuff here. Um. Wow, yeah. Okay, weird. I mean, they've had like an area off to the side with the mirror before, but never, never like this. Um, I'm gonna go to the chest. I'm gonna put some stuff in my wares. I know it's like annoying housekeeping stuff. I'm really sorry. Trust me. Okay, uh, let's see. Add to wares. Add to wares. Add to wares. I'm encumbered now. Okay, let's go. I think we could sell our stuff to Volo. 
I'm gonna start doing that. I'm gonna get rich. Here goes. I'm not doing the stupid thing that you want me to do. Good fellow. Quite the cozy yeah. setup you have here. Shut up and trade with me. Thank you so okay, so first of all, do you have anything that I want? The evil eye. Can I just read it? No. Bull's guides to spirits and specters. On the origins of the Zentarim. Oh, you know what? I'll take the thieves' tools. Thank you. When you heal a creature, it gains a 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws. That's nice. Uh, okay, so you have 490 gold. Add wares to offer. Okay. That's not as much as I thought. Uh, you want this stuffed bear? Um... <laughs> Let's see what else. Do you want this ball? Do you want these torches? Because I don't want the torches anymore. What about ah? Uh... Eh, I guess that's it, really. Yeah, I don't know why I'm keeping the cell unite right. Exactly. Oh, scroll of summon closet. I need to have Gale learn that. So he just has it permanently. That sounds good. And... What about you, Shadowheart? Oh! Sega Knight robe. Oh yeah, because that was pretty funny. Um... Padded armor. Balance. Yeah, it's fine. Barter. Okay, now, uh, goodbye. Eh, I'll sell him some stuff later. I'm, I'm not really worried about it. Let's go ahead and long rest now. Let's put the pumpkins in there. Leg of mutton, fish head always. Uh, just use these until we're done. Great. Oh. What's up? I thought I heard some weird crap. What was that? Hurry towards the sound. Leave it. Those animals aren't your concern. Hurry towards the sound. We can handle it. <gasps> oh no! Are they having nightmares? Is the Albert Cub having nightmares? What's going on? I thought something was wrong. It says of injury. Nothing. Both animals look fine. Well, then what's what's the matter? I have speak with animals. On. Just a bad dream. It's all right. Okay. Goblins had me in a cage. Poked me with pointy sticks. I'm so Gosh, mad no, for it's you. It's just a nightmare. We're safe here with Mistress. Oh, I'm Mistress. I like that. He'll settle in. Give it a little time. Aww. Did you call me Mistress just I, now? I, I suppose I did. You've been good to us. To both of us. Gomlik would be happy I'm with you, I think. Good. Like it here. Warm fire. Scratch reminds me of Big Brother. Oh, it's gonna break my heart. Well, you're both welcome here. Did you say you have a brother? Used to. Mother ate him. Oh. Well, you're both welcome here. I got an achievement. Pet Scratch and the Albert Cub at the same time. Oh. Thank you. Oh my god. That was awesome. Wait, why are they sleeping next to me? Why are they drunk? Do you notice that? What's with the bubbles? You guys all right? Oh my god, it's because speak speak with animals is done. I'm using it. Yeah. You smell very delicious, but I will not bite you. Thank you. I'm very glad to hear that. I just pet you, but I'll give you another pet. I, I pet you like four times. So that's it. 
Also, I have noticed that I have the tiger piercings. I noticed it as soon as I saw it. Okay, sometimes, just because I don't say that I know something or don't verbalize it, that means, what the hell? Gail, what? Okay, we gotta get a robe on you, mister. What? Go ahead, I'm listening. Yeah, you, did you forget something? Something kind of important, what? What is going on? You know what? There we go, that's better. Yeah, what the heck is this? Come on. Do they have like a robe for you or something? Here, you know what? Now let's, no, no, no. Surely there's a robe or something. Um, Poisoner's robe. There you go. Yeah, we'll give this to you, Gail. <laughs> Jeez. Um, look at all these stabs I got. I'm like, oh, Gail might like this. And then I just never use him. Yeah, you know who might like this? Gail. And then I just never give it to him. Uh, let's see. Look at these Githyanki half plates and stuff. You know what? Add these to wares, add that to wares, add that to wares. Look at all these get Yankee half plates, dude. Let's go sell these to Volo. Hey, Volo. You want to you buy like four get Yankee half plates? Ugh. Hang on, I'm almost there. I'm going to sell you so many get Yankee half plates. You have no idea. Ah, oh, my God. Quite the cozy setup you have. Uh, let's see. There you thank go. You let's so go ahead and just balance that out. And thank you. Gotta make sure that you don't go broke here, though. So, anyway. I Leave camp. Admire your courage, Gail. Who said that? Will? Thank you. Any particular reason? Between the orb and the bug. You've got more than your fair share of unwelcome passengers. What can I say? Mother always taught me to be a gracious host. It's doing that bug where they don't say anything. Now, you've got a staff, right? Okay. I was like, don't stop acting like you don't have anything. <sighs> okay. Where the hell is he who was? Is it... No, that's... It's not the Shadowed Battlefield. That's not where it is. Is it... It might be this way, actually. Yeah, it might be. Let's have them go this way. Come on, guys. This is definitely the squishiest party I've ever had. Um... Okay, now that stuff's there. No, I think, I think I'm all done here. What the hell? Is it? It's not the house in deep shadows, I know that. It's not down there, because that's where all the, like, uh, ballistas and stuff are. Is it... Okay, maybe it's this way. This is where the tree guys were. Was it? It must be over here. Oh... I forgot that there's a little... Okay. Okay, sorry. I just didn't see it. I was in there like scratching my head. What? I got it. We'll do this and then we'll give Art his little loot. What's with this raven, dude? I know I said not to touch it, but like, I'm really curious now. It has one HP. What can it do? 
I guess I'll just continue to not do it. Uh, okay. Just on the off chance that we could speak to the raven. Okay, I think it's this way. Boy, you are really out of the way here, and there's no fast travel near you. Oof. Hi, I'm here. The air stirs in trepidation. You have the ledger. I do, yes. It was fascinating read. I you know I have it. The Raven always knows. <laughs> okay, here. We have it. Her lies, her guilt. Madeline reported her friends to a dark justicia and fled when they were butchered. Well, she flees no more. I will be the conduit for Madeline's spirit. I will force her to face trial, and you I mean, will be the judge. Make her beg. Make her suffer. You're a real weirdo, you know that? I know how to break people. Don't worry. Let's see what she has to say first. Careful, for a serpent in life is a serpent in death. I mean, it seems like they were her friends that she tattled on, but she pleaded in their defense. So like, yeah, she sucks, but she's not like, like, I don't think she's witness. I don't think she sucks so bad that we got to resurrect her and be like, eh, answer for your crimes. You. <laughs> He said I was going to be punished. That you'd be the judge. But I didn't mean to hurt anyone. Why don't you tell me what happened? I said it didn't mean nothing. That Ben and Mark were just drunk and whining. The Dark Justicia promised she was going to chat with him. She promised. Yeah, I read it. I, I read it too. If it was drunk complaining, why'd you report them? The Dark Justice, you're said to report everything, big or small. She ain't the type you say no to. She gave him a dagger each and told him to press it against their stomachs on the mm. count of three to start stabbing and not stop till she said so. She never said stop. I'd do anything to take it back. Anything. Well, why'd they do that? <laughs> I'd be like, somebody told me to do that. I'd be like, no. <laughs> Stab yourself. You could have fought back. You deserve no forgiveness. Coward. There's nothing you need to do. This wasn't your fault. I promise. I mean, she sounds contrite, doesn't she? Yeah. We'll be nice. We have decided. I'm Since I'm the judge, I'm choosing to cut her a little slack. What I did was wrong, and I won't ever forgive myself. But yeah. hearing that just one person doesn't hate me, that one person forgives me, makes the load so much lighter. Thank yeah, no worries. Goodbye. Yeah, this was a waste of time, wasn't it? You were supposed to make her suffer, not forgive her. Oh, I was the judge. Maybe you should have made yourself the judge if you were going to do that. Do not speak to me like that. You whine more than she did. I thought us of one mind. I see now I was wrong. Are you going to do attack me? You have crossed me. Oh, brother. And for that, I mean, I end your pathetic life. How much HP do you have? I see. You have been judged and found wanting. <laughs> oh, this is adorable. 
Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> Let's go ahead and use a counter spell. Well, uh, uh, Gale, just let him let him cook. Oh, that's really too bad that it didn't work out, isn't it? Burden of time. What's that status effect? A nearby Shatter Kai is imposing disadvantage on this creature's saving throws. What's with this raven? Okay. So, my man over here has 76 HP. And he thinks... He thinks he's gonna take us out. Let's see if he even lasts one round. I'm serious. I don't, I don't think he lasts one round. We'll see, though. Okay. You got lucky there. Um... Let's see. Oh my god, the raven is gonna have a turn. That's hilarious. Netherese Orb Blast. Gale triggers the Netherese Orb in his chest, destroying everything and everyone in a wide radius. You can't... What? You could just do that? You can just be like, and I'll do it now. Well, we're not doing that. <laughs> Holy hell, dude. Okay. Um... So I can do a ray of frost. Kind of cool. Away from the burden of time. Nice job there. Mage hand. Create a spectral hand that can manipulate and interact with objects. Oh, that's what that is? Ah. Whatever. What are you going to do? Okay, nothing is the answer. You're gonna do nothing. Um, well, you know, I could do some burning hands here. Wouldn't that be funny? Wow, the candle is immune to fire damage. Imagine that. Now, uh, I mean, I probably could kill him here, but. I mean, it would be really funny. But let's just take it easy on him instead. Let's see. Let's do Let's do a cantrip. He's, he's such a nothing burger, I don't want to waste more spell slots on him. Oh, uh, that always happens with Sacred Flame. They hit the saving throw. Ha. Ha ha. Okay. <laughs> Having trouble casting spells, buddy? Oh, good. Yeah, that that 8 HP of heal is really going to save you. Um, should, we, should we hurt the raven, too? Why not? Oh, I got a critical hit. And I missed on him? That sucks. Uh... Oh, I missed. That that raven is seriously doing nothing. Um, let's see if I can disengage. Um, I forgot that I can't attack if I do that. That's fine. Wow. Sacred Flame just really does not do anything, does it? He's mentally fatigued now. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. That's so funny. That's so funny. Oh. Well, he's dead. And now you too, I guess. All right, guys. He lasted three rounds, actually. The Raven wasn't even holding anything. Return at once, it says. Hmm. 
He who was. What ails thy mind? The queen was clear. A full retreat to the shadow fell with all due haste. You beheld the fate of lover's whisper. After a ten day in the darkness, she knew not her name. These lands are rich in tragedy and memory, but our minds are vulnerable to the malignant curse. Lover's whisper strangled her own raven this morn. Her raven! The queen was incensed at the loss of her child, and struck lover's whisper down, as was her right. Return at once, or I will be forced to report your desertion of thine will. These people are weird, aren't they? He's a drow, isn't he? Shatterkai? Aren't Shatterkai drows? Dra drows? Uh, you know it would be funny? What if we woke him up real quick? Hey, and we're not done talking to you. The corpse running silent. Oh, that's really too bad. Well, what the hell? Well, you know what? Maybe we can do it on... Uh, dude, we can talk to her again. Isn't that funny? Hey, we killed him. does not stir. It oh. will answer no more questions. I want to I want to tell her, hey, we killed that guy. Just say so you know. Let's get going. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna pick flowers now. He who was. You know what? I mean, that's really true now. Um great. Now Let's go back to the last light in. Let's bring that loot with us. What have I expected to find lurking in this cursed gloom? Certainly wasn't this. A glimmer of hope amidst the darkness. That's one way of looking at it. You could also say it's a prime target. The one pocket of light in the gloom. Another step forward. Pragmatism, thy name is Shadowheart. You're not wrong though. Best we keep our sojourn here to a minimum. Okay, let's uh, come back in here. Hi, Jahira. Uh, I brought my loot, or your loot, actually. Hi. He keeps saying Daniel's name. Yeah, I found a loot. It seems to have belonged to, to the Flaming him. Fist. Good. Its music might help restore him. Show it to him. Uh, pull up the loot you found in play. Are you sure you want me to play it? Okay, I guess I'll try. Daniel! He's still trapped there. He needs help. Calm. Breathe. Wow. That's it, huh? <laughs> You've been trapped in the shadow fell for a century. Take a moment to clear your mind. A century? Your whole sin. Thaniel said to find you. You must help him. Please. I will. But I need to know where Thaniel is. If I venture into the Shadowfell blind, I will never find him. I'm not sure I can put it into words. The landscape there shifts and changes. Let Halson handle this. Lavender. Whenever I saw Thaniel, I always smelled lavender. I can work with that. Rest now. Meet me by the lake shore. I have what we need to proceed, but I'll need your help. Be ready. This may prove perilous. This may have to wait for the next video. Where's Halson going? Look at his walk. What the hell? Look at look at how he walks. <laughs> Halson, everything okay? You're walking like you're constipated, my man. <laughs> I mean, okay. Well, uh, I'll follow you down there, and we'll end the video. That sounds good. Anyway, so we got a lot done in this episode. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to Moonrise Towers. You know, you've been here for a long time doing that. Oh. See, I thought something was funny about this. This is where you meet Halson. Why does he want to meet here? 
Okay, well, we'll get ready. Um, yeah, so to recap, we went through more of Wraithwind. We went to the Waning Moon. We defeated Thassobald or whatever his name is. This a this a bad. This is bad. I can't remember his name. Um, next episode, we might go to the Toll House before we go to Moonrise Towers. I don't know. I still gotta explore the Masons Guild because I didn't find everything that I could find there. Uh, yeah. I don't know. But uh, hopefully, you're still enjoying the series. I assume if you're this far in, you're in it for the long haul. Who's going to be like, oh, I stopped watching around part 33. Yeah, just wasn't interesting anymore. Freaks, that's who. Are you a freak? I'll see you in the next one. Think critically.